All right, here is your book for today. If you were in Winter 371, you will have heard this book already, but I think it's just such a great end of the semester book for you. So this is called I Can Be Anything, Don't Tell Me I Can't by Diane Dillon. Okay, here we go. Hang on, I'm just gonna move this over here. Ooh, this way, this way, there we go. I can be anything I want to be. Zoe stretched her arms and spun around. I'm a bird, I can fly way up high, floating on the wind. What if you fall? said a little voice. I won't fall, birds have wings. If my wings get tired, I can fly in a rocket ship to a far away planet. I'll meet planet people and have a tea party before I come home. What if you can't get home? said the voice. Zoe ignored the voice. I can be an archaeologist and travel around the world and dig up dinosaur bones and bury treasure. What if you get homesick? You're too little, said the voice. No, I'm not. I'm bigger than you. Maybe I'll be a, scientol a scientist and discover things, or I'll be an inventor and build a robot that will talk louder than you, so I won't hear you. The voice was quiet for a while. I'll be a veterinarian and help wild animals like tigers and bears and dragons, and I'll give them medicine and make them well, and I'll bandage their hurts. What if they bite you? said the voice. I'll be so gentle they won't bite me. They will know I am helping them. Oh, I know. I'll be a fire girl and rescue people. I'll drive a big fire engine with a loud siren that goes wee wee and rescue a kitty stuck in a tree. You can't drive a fire engine. That's silly, said the voice. That's not silly. I can be anything I want to be. And don't tell me I can't. I'll be an artist and paint pictures and a museum will hang them up so people can see them. What if you don't have talent? Said the voice. Everybody has talent for something and so do I. Besides, I'm smart. I can do anything if I try hard enough and you won't stop me. I can even be an ornithologist who studies birds or an oceanographer, there we go, who explores the ocean. Or I can be a musician and give concerts all around the world. I can even be president, oh, president, in if I want to be. You're just a voice and I don't have to listen to you. But I'm always with you, you know said the voice, no matter what you do. You better be quiet or I'll be an alligator and eat you up, said Zoe. The voice didn't have an answer to that. It was silent again. I can be an astronomer and study the stars with a big telescope and discover new planets. I'll be a famous chef and bake fancy cakes as tall as I am and I'll write a book about my recipes. You can't write. The voice came back. But I'm going to learn to write in school. Maybe I'll be a teacher and teach other kids how to write. Or I'll be a librarian and have, and then have a zillion books to share with everyone. You don't know what you want to be, do you? Said the voice. Go away, voice. I won't listen to you. I'm not grown up yet. I can be anything. But first, I have to learn to read and read and read and I'll read books about all the things I can be. Don't tell me I can't. See why it's a perfect book to end a semester on reading and ELA in the elementary classroom.